This is the one-way analysis of variance video on the predictor variable. Nor in the special case of the t-test, the one-way analysis of variance is the statistical technique to use when you have a single categorical predictor with two or more possible values. For example, when you want to compare the impacts of three different drugs. Although I'll try to limit the amount of statistical jargon as much as possible. In order to read the literature, you should know that in the analysis of variance, the predictor variable is sometimes called a factor, and its possible values are sometimes called levels. In a drug, for example, in a drug example, drug is a factor. Assuming drug names are unpronounceable, the levels might be denoted as A, B, and C. In this course, we'll only consider factors that represent fixed effects, defined on the accompanying slide. Factors can be interpreted as being either fixed or random. An effect is termed a fixed effect if its lo levels are of independent interest, such as drugs A, B, and C. Typically, the analyst will be interested in comparing specific levels of the factor, for example, in comparing drug A with drug C. On the other hand, a factor is random if its levels aren't of independent interest. For example, if we want to determine how much patient satisfaction varies across hospital, but don't care about comparing specific hospitals, then hospital is a random factor. Without going into detail, the main difference in an analysis using a random effects model is how the variability, say, between hospitals is summarized. In effects a fixed effect model, what we report is the mean satisfaction for each hospital and base the analysis on comparing these hospital-specific means. In a random effects model, these same mean satisfaction scores would still be the basis for analysis, but what we primarily report is the standard deviation of those scores. In practice, the distinction between fixed and random effects often shows up in one of two places. In multi-site randomized trials, the decision about whether a site is fixed or random isn't necessarily trivial. Usually, site is considered to be a random effect, but not always. Sometimes when sites represent different types of patient populations, for example, it's of interest to assess the impact of the intervention on a site-by-site -site basis. Second place is the distinction between fixed and random effects arises is when longitudinal data are collected on patients. There, for example, patient is usually considered to be a random effect, and time is considered to be a fixed effect. The result is something called a mixed model, which won't be covered in this class.